just watching the game. Like, it's scientifically proven you will react, like, almost twice as fast to audio stimuli as you will to visual stimuli. So, highly recommended. And DSS knows it. He's a smart kid. Plugs it in. Kanga is also doing it as well, I believe. So, yep. oof. What wow. a start. Yeah, good. Quick 29 already. I like that call out from Kanga. Understanding TSS most likely going to roll back. Hit him with the pound on the ground. And look at that, 53 unanswered. I mean, Kanga, that character specialist, always has to be wary of what he's going to be doing with it. He's shown time and time again that he can do so much work with Donkey Kong. Oh, we oh, got the drag down, but DSS kind of just overshooting it there. I like that Kanga going on the platform. Oh, he's going to scoop him up. Yeah, that's a stock. Absolutely terrifying to be on that platform against the grappler. Yeah, DSS with a smirk on his face, understanding that, yo, he got caught right there. But Kanga actually isn't out of the woods himself. Being such a big body, sitting at 47, the dash attack actually can take him up to the ladder. Mm -hmm. I do like the way that Kanga is playing the spacing game, right? He's occasionally throwing out those ground pounds, too, trying to prompt DSS to do something before he takes shield damage, but he's going to eat that ladder that time. Off of the down throw, DSS is following the DI correctly, and Kanga actually not mixing up the DI too much. I think, if I'm not mistaken, just held out the whole time. It's, I mean, it's also really tough for such a big body to mix up their DI well enough to escape. Oh, again, calling. Actually, that covered almost everything. That's beautiful stuff from Kanga. Yeah. I, I actually just realized that. Yeah, his ground pounds are wow. on point, just At like his ding dongs. 60. Holy. And DSS done with the game audio. He was like, you know, this is food. <laughs> this didn't give me anything. G Pig, why are you telling me misinformation? No, I didn't tell him misinformation. You try to give him advice. It didn't work. It wasn't advice, it was a choice. It's you okay. choose between game audio and reaction time. And this is what happens when he chose game advice. audio. Look what happened when he chose game audio. Then you he up, lost the game. Then you take off your headset and, and that's you what play he did. The next if one. he wins here, my point is proven. What point? We're agreeing. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he's also changing his color too though. Going the red man and I looking like he's he wants a little bit more of the fire in his life. So far actually, up air, down air into a re-grab situation. 41%. No, Kong is kind of just running back. Wow, the reverse Nair coming up, just clipping him at the end there. Not going to get anything else, but still uh, kind of just showing DSS that is an option, but DSS has himself in the driver's seat at the moment, running back and forth, playing a lot more patient this time around, really trying to find those openings and not just trying to get scooped up with the quickness. One thing I've noticed is every time Kanga gets DSS in that corner and actually starts cornering him, uh, DSS remembers the ground pound from the previous get game. Off the get off yeah, Get, get jumps, off of that platform. Jumps immediately <laughs> onto this magical platform and then runs immediately off because he remembers the ding dong. No, I mean, especially in that situation, since he did eat the up smash on shield already. Oh, yeah, if, the jump If he was still there, yeah, he'd jump side B and possibly break it. Getting scooped up one more time. Didn't double jump Ooh. into that forward air DSS down throw. Can he follow it correctly? Oh, I think he actually might. Oh, oh, the second hit not having the bane of every Meta Knight's existence. But he still manages to get a grab immediately on Sakanga right afterwards. Oh, tries to back off that situation and punish the standing grab. He doesn't find it, though. Now he's sitting at that death percent to a grab, having to be very conservative right now. And you can... If you're ever in doubt whether you're in death percent to a Donkey Kong grab, you just kind of watch their neutral. And if they're not really pressing buttons other than, than the grab, you can just assume you still are. Uh, and the shuttle loop finally connecting with all hits this time around. Ooh, getting clipped by the up DSS, unable to get any type of punish, but he's sitting at 59. One grab, and that Ding Dong is just going to take him up to the top. So terrifying. DSS, of course, knowing those numbers. You know, I, I don't even feel confident in going for down tilts right now. Oh, that, no. that thing oh, is so no. small. Look at that. Scooped up yet again. That was so unfortunate, too, because DSS did a roll in, so he was facing the wrong way, so his next button wasn't ready to go. Kanga recognized it, got the punish he wanted. Oh, try to go for the empty hop. Not going to get it. Kanga understanding. Can't go for that up smash sitting at such high percent. Ooh, trying to cover a lot of options again, but this time DSS manages to get through it. Go for the dimensional cape again. The down is coming out from Conga, and we are already in a dangerous position. Again, if he gets the grab, <laughs> oh my god! Dash attack so far so good. No, not again, not platform. again. Okay, down smash. Okay, we playing brawl. We playing brawl. It that was clean. Yeah. Uh, drag down back here into down smash. I actually haven't seen that before. I love I, what Kanga does is whenever DSS is trying to apply like movement pressure and like either be shielding or mixing up whether he's rolling in and around, it's just like, well, here's a ground pound. It's gonna hit both sides of me. Well, I don't I mean, have for, to worry. For DSS, he's doing it. I think about you know a good 70% of the time with that rollback. Kanga can believe ready for it. He only needs it a couple of times to work out for in his favor. Yeah, and then like look All at right, it. one grab oh, should do dead. it. And as I oh no, 
too much for Senna and Meta Knight, wow. actually. Oh, back. Oh, Kanga knows it. He immediately is just going for that back throw instead. Has the giant punch online, trying to call out a jump get up. Not going to get it. Ooh, single up air, but. Oh. Speaking of up air, one yeah. coming out for Kanga. That big old head that, clipping him right there. Honestly, as a choice, that's really smart. It's just like, hey, if this isn't frame perfect, if I keep flicking up on the C stick, he will die. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to force him to be frame perfect with it or pay the consequences. And that time, DSS wasn't quite stringing it together just right. All right, DSS, are you going to go ahead and switch up characters? Are you going to stick with that Meta Knight? These games have been very close. You found yourself with a lead almost every game. Unfortunately, you weren't able to go ahead and solidify these stocks. I mean, some, some things just kind of didn't didn't go his way. The second hit of the shuttle loop, not connecting. And that's just what that's happens with Meta Knights. It's yeah. a very unfortunate. But he needs to go ahead and dig deep, understand that he's playing very well. But now, just try to convert that into stocks. It's also the question as well as, like, when you do have that lead against, against a grappler, like, yeah, it is terrifying to keep existing with them. But, like, they want you to jump into their arms, you know? Like, you don't have to force the question necessarily. Uh, and just being able to be willing to play more to that timer. You have, like, extra five minutes to go. <laughs> you don't need five minutes. You need yeah. 20 seconds to go ahead and take you that one away. Seconds. Only 15% okay. onto DSS and Kanga. Actually turning it up a little bit, playing very aggressively. Coming in with those back airs right off of the Angel platform. A man's got to make up that distance as soon as possible. Already 51% for it and jumping up for that nair for an extra 12. No, and a trade actually not going in his favor. Immediate down air from DSS. Rolling right back. No down B this time from Konga. Dragging him down. Oh, didn't grab him in the right direction, but Konga going to get that pivot. And the ding dong. Not going to do it. Only level one rage on him. Still not enough. Wow. Backing off just away from that giant punch and swooping in for that punish. It's the second time for DSS to find something. Just going straight for damage with that shuttle loop. Yeah, and DSS actually uh, putting him right back into the stage. Going to get the percent, like you said, but still the fear of possibly getting this off is there. Back throw of sending Kongo right back off stage. Are we going to get it back here? No, I think DSS wanted to go over. Unfortunately, didn't. And a down smash coming out. And now this is another dangerous situation. Two conversions off of Kongo. can do it. And DSS had the correct read. Just pulled the trigger. Not on time. Right now, DSS just chilling on the other side of the screen. We know that Smashville platform. Not trying to force any situation. Please come. He's he's playing the way people play against him, you know, just hugging the corner of the stage. Uh oh, Konga. <laughs> the way he's just playing this neutral right now is phenomenal. Letting DSS come to him, putting up that shit when he oh, needs to. Oh, oh wait, no. Something big. A okay. Thor <gasps> that could have been terrifying, but still, 52 percent. I thought that after that neutral, he was gonna have to go on that platform, and then it became a tech chase. Oh man, that would have oh, been no, terrifying. Oh no, but he's sitting at 63. No, he ends up doing a tornado. Oh. He's gonna get scooped up. No, he's good. <laughs> Back throw! Still not gonna do a DK, such a big body! Oh! No, it's not gonna get hit! Does he have time? He's good, he's good, he's good. Still backing off. Konga in a. Okay, no. Not gonna do it. No, of course not. That's gonna <gasps> not be it. I so no! tries to get the nothing personal, doesn't find it. <laughs> okay, Shadaloo finally connect. DSS taking away that game. Both of the players kinda just shaking their heads right now. DSS looking quite relieved. <laughs> But he has to do that twice more if he's going to look to take out uh, Washington's number one. So still a long road ahead of him. Whew. And like the thing is, you saw how close that was, Miho? Mm -hmm. There was a zero to death in the first 20 seconds. Yeah. If he doesn't get a zero to death. The power of DK. DK is going to, Kong is going to pull through. Like, DSS needs to play to that ridiculous extent on his punish game if he wants to keep it even that close. I mean, not even just a favorite. punish game. I'd love to see him just clean it up in general. He keeps overextending when he does have that lead. Mm. And it literally just let Konga get back into that game. Reset? No? He's looking for new colors. I'm not it, sure it's a reset he, or a color. He's, he's benching every single color of Meta Knight, right? Mm. He doesn't want to overexert them. So this time it's Gray's turn, yeah. right? So Red already died. Uh, Dark Meta Knight came in triumphantly. Uh, I don't remember who was game one. I think it was original flavor. And, yeah, uh, no, original's never good. You gotta get some variety in you. Like, the special editions is where it's at. Yeah. Here we go. FD, the counter pick for Konga. Great stuff. It looks like Konga especially recognizes the, the refuge that the uh, Smashville platform starts to be for DSS, right? Ooh, double uh, footstool. Yeah, All right, I like DSS is adding that into his repertoire. Mixing up Konga quite well. Dash attack. 
into, oh wow, up tilt actually just beating that one out. As I said before, even though Meta Knight does have a toothpick, it is still a disjoint, and the shuttle loop again taking that one out. Already starting the way the last game did, so this is the sort of lead that we've seen DSS needs in order to take a win off of Kanga. But it, there's still the question of actually pulling it off, and with no Smash Roll platform as leverage for when he is in disadvantage, it's going to be interesting to see how things play out. Already in the early goings of this game, Really, DSS has already conditioned Kanga that he's going to roll behind him. DSS has been able to just run up for free to get those grabs, but as I say, this time around, not going to work. Ding Dong coming out. Fully charged out smash. Uh, uh, dang, that's a big clap. He's just giving himself a little bit of a round of applause. He's like, good, good Ding Dong. Good grab. Good grab. <laughs> good stuff. Donkey Kong do good. He basically gone to. Anyway. DSS being very cautious, recognizing how fast that lead just Oh, you can't, you can't show that forever, DSS. Thank you. I'm glad you took that percent. As opposed to getting it broken? Yes. Yeah. That's way better. I mean, even though he's at 0%, oh, yeah. it's still scary from DK. You never know. Konga got some type of crazy setup. Shuttle Loop going to connect DSS, evening up the set 2-2 two, two apiece. All right. That looks like that uh, final destination pick allowed DSS to focus a little bit cleaner on his ladders. Well, it's a double-edged sword for both of yeah. these characters, especially with this matchup. They want to cover each other's landings. They yeah. want you to come down very unsafely. Uh, especially considering how much more leverage. We saw more up tilts that game than we have the entire day from DSS, right? And it was all because the nature of FD forcing those uncomfortable landings right on top of your opponent. Uh, Oh, I believe right, this so is a We are already going. No, no, they're going right in. Oh, they're going right in. Okay. I, I, see, I see the fingers moving. I see some hits going on right now. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm waiting for the picture. You know, but right the now, suspense is killing me. The, the big pows that I'm hearing seems to indicate that uh, Konga is having the upper hand at the moment. And we're having a lot of careful All right, here we back go. and forth. Okay, not, not too bad. You know, even percents, another yeah. dash attack coming in. Er, Dash grab for DSS. Here comes a neutral air. Might take the stock. No, didn't have another jump Good to go ahead and feed. do it. <laughs> DSS always does it. I know. <laughs> and we're at the we're at the side of the. Do you think a shuttle loop's gonna kill? No. <laughs> Still not gonna kill there. But even then, that's some good percent. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. DSS tried to go for a grab himself. Not gonna get it. But now he's in a dangerous situation. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Kaga still tossing out that grab there. No, I mean, he just needs the grab right now. This is the same percent range as they were at last game when Konga took that first stock. DSS oh my waiting for that approach and just rolling in calmly. Because that is the one exception when Konga has the opponent at this range. He does sometimes throw out those giant punches. They do catch people off guard. He's very good at, uh, at finding those moments of sleeping. I like this from DSS playing so patiently, getting the 50-50 on that shuttle loop. Still not going to take the stock, but he is in a great oh! guard situation, but not expecting that downer. I wasn't even expecting that. Konga, no! No! Not like this. Oh, no. That is such an unfortunate way to end a set like that one. And guys, it looks like that is going to be it for us on the microphone. Miho and I are going to